Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. God sent me here to be a blessing to you, to bring the word in season, the word of power, the word of healing, the word of lifting, the word of breakthrough. Get ready. As you receive this word, your word will open for you. We always start with faith confession. Faith is a confession. It is what you confess that heaven permits you to possess. Take this confession with us. Say it out. A closed mouth will lead to a closed destiny. If you can be as loud as we are saying it, from the prayer mountain, Dominion City, where this message and ministration are coming to you, do so. If not, say it as much as you can, but don't close your mouth. Take this confession with us. Then say with me, my Father and my God. My Father and my God. I come before you again today to confess my possession. I have come to believe so I can receive. I am a covenant child of a covenant God. Under the covenant, I have rights. I have come to claim my rights. I have right to live well. I have right to be healthy. I have right to live long. I have right to a peaceful family. It is my right to make progress. It is my right to increase in life. I am an eagle Christian. I will soar like the eagle. I am a lion Christian. I will rule and reign. Every good thing God said for me. I shall, I shall not be denied. I prophesy, I prophesy against all the traps, all, all the maneuvers, all the, maneuvers, all the limitations all the of the enemy. The enemy. Break, over Break over my life. Break over my children. Over my I will walk and make profit. I will, I will live and be healthy. Live and be Good health is my possession. I reject every form of pain every form of sickness no matter the medical name or the traditional name you are not my portion victory is my possession i move into victory i refuse to be poor i'm a prospered person i respect to i refuse to be idle i am an active person i reject barrenness i reject it for myself i reject it for my children i reject it for members of my family we are amazingly fruitful. Fruitfulness is my possession. I go on to be fruitful. I confess that from today, I am moving forward. I am going higher. My momentum has changed. I move to a new level. I am done with this present level. I am true with this present level. My level is higher than this. I am seated with Christ in heavenly places far above all limitations far above all demonic activity i am a king i will reign by today's encounter i shift level by today's encounter i move higher i will return and give my testimony all glory be to god in jesus name say a good amen wow your confession will lead to your possession you will not just be confessing these things they will be manifesting in your life from faith confession to word ministration that is how we flow that's the structure that's the outline here do your jottings so you can go over these things later digest and apply the word to your own life and situation hear this the word of god we only walk when you apply it to your life and situations many people are waiting for god to work for them no it is you that has to walk god's word into your life and situation don't wait for god to do things for you rather do what god was says concerning different 
issue of your life and you will see his wonders so listen to our teachings here daily and ask god for grace to do them john chapter 8 verse 32 says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free it is the truth you know and apply that sets free john 13 verse 17 also says if you know these things happy are ye if you do them mm, if you do them the emphasis is on doing them ask god for the grace both to listen and to do the doers are the blessed if you will add doing to hearing it will change everything around you and then lives will be transformed everywhere you are if all you do is to just hear god's word and then we not apply it you are not applying what you listen to then listen to what james said here james chapter 1 verses 23 and 24 let me read it to you from king james version for if any be a hearer of this word and not a doer is like unto man beholding his natural face in a glass for he beholds himself then he goes and straight away forget what manner of man he was that says it all that's why many so-called pastors prophets prophetesses senior pastors apostles bishops all kinds of titles they hold many people under them in bondage they feed fat on them because those members those who go to them are ignorant of this kind of things we are teaching here they play god over them don't let anybody play god over you there is only one most high in your life and that is god those members too out of ignorance see their spiritual leaders as know it all and be it all nothing can be further from the truth it is all lies good pastors are to teach the members the word of god guide them to do it you are to please do the word and then you see your life totally transformed jeremiah 3 verse 15 says i will give you pastors after my own heart that will teach you knowledge and understanding knowledge as you know is power and understanding makes you outstanding so he said he didn't say i will give you pastors that will see visions for you and interpret all dreams i will give you vision a uh, past uh, pastors that will she share for you one as she share for uh lori okay no don't go to that one walk in line with god's word what you desire will happen there is power in the world if you walk it into your own life that's what god sent me to teach here i can never say these things enough let no one play god over you do what god's word says you will see the power in the world for instance we are teaching about the principles to ensure a happy home where great children will be produced and released a happy fulfilling environment do what the word of god says your home will be happy your marriage will be fulfilled just like mine and those of other people who listen to the word and do what the word of god says yesterday we stopped at number five key that a woman look forward to in her husband that will make her happy and submissive every woman is looking for a submissive wife your wife will be submissive if you can see these five things from you we call number five faithfulness and transparency a wife does not feel safe with an unfaithful husband forsake all other women you took the oath at the marriage altar now because there is nothing you want in a woman that your wife does not have if she does not know it like i said yesterday teach her instead of going after strange women bring your wife up to your standard listen to proverbs chapter 5 verses 15 to 20 drink water from your own cistern running water from your own well should your spring overflow in the street your streams of water in the public squares let them be yours alone never to be shared with strangers may your fountain be blessed and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth a loving doe a graceful dare may her breast satisfy you always may you ever be captivated by her love why he captivated my son be 
by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? Why go to another man's wife if you are not signing your death warrant? Not every woman is professional when it comes to sexual matters. So teach your wife how you like it. Don't go outside and intermingle with professionals because they are nothing but traps of venereal and spiritual diseases. Buy books for your wife to read, take time to attend marriage seminars, listen to tapes and CDs by people who specialize in marital issues. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. By the grace of God, I'm a marriage coach, a marriage counselor. 40 years into this business, I am surely not a novice. Husbands, don't give your wife reasons to doubt your love for her. No woman feels safe when her husband is not transparent. Many women fear infection and incurable diseases from their husband. But because of the African setting, she can do little or nothing to protect herself. So don't expose yourself and your family to venereal diseases. Be open to your wife. As a married man, there are some situations that may be very innocuous, but please make sure you put discipline on yourself. Do it all the time. Don't allow yourself to get too close to members of the opposite sex because the devil is never too far. For your wife's peace of mind as well as her self-respect, keep your friendship with members of the opposite sex at a bare minimum, especially if there are people she does not know. No matter how strong you are, know that men are easily carried away. Uh, don't be hiding your telephone from your wives. They are a husband that their wife they are not check their phone or they will have heart attack because of some strange, terrible things they do with some other strange women. I am going to build on this from tomorrow. We are talking about what a man need to do, your responsibility to your wife that will make her submit to you, love you and add to your life. I hope men are not going to be angry with me, but this is the truth. There is no other way to say it than to say the truth. Now from the word ministration to testimonies, receive these testimonies, they will bless your life.
Wow, I hope you are blessed by those testimonies. Now, if today is your bad day, let me pray for you. All celebrants of today, touch yourself. May the Lord bless your life, bless your new age. You will not die prematurely. You will have a productive living. You will live to a great old age in Jesus' name. Now, listen to this. Tomorrow, Thursday, is the prayer mountain day in the city of Ibadan. Every week, we take a new focus and we minister it at Dominion City. Tomorrow is millionaire's anointing. God wants to make you a millionaire. What is wrong in you being a millionaire? Why not, if not, millionaire's anointing? If you miss it last Thursday, don't miss it tomorrow. And if you are there last Thursday, be there again tomorrow for the second touch. Two prayer mountain services will run tomorrow at Dominion City. 7 to 9 a.m. is the first service, two hours only. The 9.30 to 11.30, another two hours. Attend the one that is most convenient for you. Many people attend it too, and they are blessed. This is how to prepare. Tear off a check leaf from your checkbook. Address it to yourself. Make yourself the beneficiary. And sign the number of figures of millions that your heart can take. Sign it front and back and bring it for anointing. It is called impartation and prophetic release for God to take you up. Years ago, this was what God led me into. I wrote my name. I took a check leaf from my checkbook. I addressed it to myself. I wrote 10 million. That time I didn't have a dime. I pinned it to the back door of my room. Every day I prophesied to it while working hard on my assignment. Over time, God took me to that level. Then I wrote 50 million, kept working kept prophesying, kept anointing. Over time, God took me to that level. Then I wrote a hundred million. Over time, God took me to that level. There is power in the anointing. There is power in prophetic action. There is power in spoken word. Don't miss this millionaire's anointing impartation tomorrow at Dominion City. Bosses are positioned at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, to bring people to Dominion City, first and second services. The same way at Poplat Petrol Station, the world, to bring people to and through Dominion City. And there are communities around Dominion City. Let me invite all residents at Temindiri Estate, Olorun Tedo Estate, Jackon area, Adudoju Community, Iyano Bodija, Alak Banyu, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajarepo, Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbowo Community, Oja Bodija, Ojo, Orogun, Ashi, University of Ibadan, General Gas, Akobo area, you are all not too far from Dominion City. Be there. Come, you will be so blessed. Tomorrow, we'll be waiting for you. Telephone numbers to call. For more information about how to get to Dominion City tomorrow, is Akifenwa on 0805 8022194. 0805 8022194. One more time. 0805 8022194. The second line. 
0813-785-2813. Start calling and chatting now. Then this big one, Easter Monday is here. Next week, Monday, April 10 is the Easter Monday. I invite all of you in and around the Badon to this year's Easter picnic. We do hold at Dominion City, that same Dominion City. Be there. Come with members of your family. Come alone. Come as a couple with your family. Come alone. Drive in ample car park. Bring your food if you desire. Come in your picnic dress. We are going to have a great time of music, of relaxation, of, of, of games, of winning prizes. It's going to just be another time. It will bless you so tremendously at Dominion City. But you will need to register. If you are coming as a family, if you are coming alone, you need to call and register. It's free, but we need to register so that we can make provision and be better organized. Two lines, two numbers, write this down, send an SMS, send a chat, make a call. If your calls are not getting through, send a chat or send an SMS to say, this is my name, I am coming. This is the number in our group. The first one is Wally on 0802-898-3562. Wally on 0802-898-3562. I'll call it the third time. Wale on 0802-898-3562. The second line is Tina, 0803-400-7854. 0803-400-7854. Third time, 0803-400-7854. Start calling, chatting, and making your registration now. First time callers, first time visitors to Dominion City will be specially attended to. I will minister to people that day. I will make a call, bless your life. It will be happy, powerful ever. Don't miss Prayer Mountain tomorrow, as I have explained it, Millionaire's Anointing. And don't miss Easter Picnic coming Monday, Easter Monday. People come from outside the battle. Come is what coming for there is an anointing on that ground there's an anointing on my tongue there is a grace of god that we carry that will change your life and it is interdenominational prayer mountain is interdenominational easter picnic next monday is interdenominational there will be prizes for the best dressed couple best dancing couple come with your children children have their prizes it's just going to be a time that will just bless you what is left for me now is prophetic impartation over your life. Receive it and be saying, Amen. I receive it. You need to go and not be doing a I am not going to be a good In the name of Jesus, no more 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 no
Wow, you will not just be receiving prophetic impartation, it will be manifesting in your life. Tomorrow, I will bring you another administration. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a wonderful time.